Hi friends, welcome back. After looking at uh, clipping circuits, now it is time to see another fascinating circuit called a clamping circuit. A clamping circuit is a circuit that contains one series uh, capacitance and a shunt diode. And this uh, combination makes wonders. So in this uh, configuration as we have seen a diode is connected this way where P is connected to the capacitor and N is connected to the ground. Now there are two options for the output when the diode is off then the output will be input minus whatever is the voltage across capacitor so the output voltage will be input voltage minus voltage across capacitor whereas when the diode is on then this is almost short circuit and hence output will be equal to zero okay let us see what happens if we apply a sinusoidal input to this circuit let's uh, begin our journey with a uh, uncharged capacitor so at beginning that is at t equal to zero the voltage across capacitor is zero and the diode resistance is almost negligible when it is conducting and it is almost infinite when it is off okay now let's uh, begin our uh, journey into what happens when this sinusoidal input is applied to the circuit the capacitor voltage was assumed to be zero before we start and the output voltage was assumed to be zero before we start and then the journey begins the input starts rising and the input is rising and at that time capacitor voltage was zero and hence the voltage here will be greater than zero and hence the diode is on because the diode is on the output will be zero but because the diode is on the current starts flowing and this current will charge the capacitor and this charging of capacitor is done almost instantaneously because this voltage happens to be zero under ideal case and hence the voltage across capacitor has to be equal to voltage at the input because vo is zero since vo is zero the voltage across capacitor should follow in the input voltage and hence the input voltage starts following uh, sorry the capacitor voltage starts following the input voltage and after one quarter the capacitor voltage has reached to vm and the input voltage has gone below vm so the input voltage has gone below vm so this is vm this is less than vm therefore the output voltage has to be something negative therefore the diode doesn't conduct and since diode is not conducting the voltage across capacitor cannot change and hence it remains constant because the input voltage is less than this vc and hence the voltage across capacitor remains constant because there is no possibility of discharging this capacitor so for charging diode allows but discharging diode does not allow and hence there is only charging possible that too in the first quarter of the cycle and after that the input is less than vm at this point again equal to vm then less than vm equal to vm so whatever it is it no longer 
is more than Vm and hence this is going to be equal to 0. Now what is going to happen with the output? Output, yes, as you know, in the first quarter of the cycle, the diode is conducting and the capacitor is charging. Therefore, the voltage across the diode will be zero. That is, our output will be zero. But as the input decreases below Vm, the output is going to be input is less than Vm, whereas the capacitor voltage is fixed to Vm now. So this is less than Vm. This is Vm. Therefore, this whole thing is going to be negative and this starts going into negative and at this point the input is zero so this goes to minus Vm and at this point this goes to minus Vm so this is minus Vm minus of Vm is going to be minus 2 Vm therefore at this point it goes to minus 2 Vm and then at this point it reaches at this point again it reaches 0 and then goes down then reaches 0 here then goes down reaches 0 so on the peaks it will be 0 so in overall what has happened is it is equivalent to pushing this whole waveform downwards so that the peak is at zero the peak is at zero so what has happened is the dc voltage which is stored across the capacitor is subtracted from the input and hence the output is going to be below zero line so you have clamped the peak to zero level so that's what we say the circuit is a clamping circuit and what is it clamping it is clamping the positive peak yeah clamping the positive peak where to zero level so we can call this circuit as a positive zero level clamping circuit so that's the basic uh, idea what a clamping circuit is and whenever we want to ensure that the peak is at some fixed level like zero in this case yes we can use a clamping circuit so that's uh, what a clamping circuit introduction is many uh, versions of clamping circuits are possible so we are going to see one by one in our coming sessions so till then take care see you bye